everybody. This video will be about bathtubs. It's going to be in the playlist titled Bathrooms. Uh, it's going to be a series of videos. Uh, I don't like long intros. I will try to make this video as fast as I can because I don't like super long videos either. And I know that everybody has a, a life to live. So we're on the kinraz.com main webpage and we're going to go to the site map. I'm going to click on bathrooms. <clears throat> And with bathtubs, when you're remodeling your, your bathroom, uh, I'd say there's a good 50-50 shot that you're going to remove your bathtub, uh, you know, make it brand new again. Now, you, mean you can paint the bathtub, uh, you know, you can coat it again if some of them are like older and cast iron, they're going to weigh several hundred pounds uh, and they really are a bear and a beast to, to get out of the bathroom. Um, I've even had... Uh, some people have to bust the bathtub up with a sledgehammer, um, you know, just to get the pieces of the bathtub out. When you do that, then, you know, the, uh, the metal's really sharp. You can get injured. But anyway, um, so the bathtub types, the first bathtub type, this is probably the most common. This is called the alcove. So anytime you hear the word alcove, it means you have a back wall and then you have two walls on the sides. So the alcove tub is probably the most standard tub that you're going to run into. <clears throat> it comes uh, typically the sizes are 60 inches uh, in length and then usually 30 inches in depth here uh, to the studs. Now they do make some wider tubs that come out to 32 inches wide uh, and some actually come out to 36 inches wide. Uh, the funny thing with that is, as far as the tub heights go, the standard heights of the tub typically go like this. If the tub is going to be 30 inches wide across, typically the, the, the tub height from the floor is about 14 to 15 inches tall. If you go out wider to 32, then the tub height then raises up to about 18 inches tall. So <clears throat> most of the time you're going to see like, jacuzzi tubs and whirlpool tubs they are 32 inches wide so people have room to fit in there and then they're also a little bit taller and then if you ever go with a 36 inch wide tub now those are more rare those typically go back down to about 14 or 15 inches tall so that's the alcove tub uh, that you're going to see now when you're walking into the alcove Oh, alcove tub if you go in to buy a tub you're going to be asked is it a right hand drain or a left hand drain what that means is that if it's a right hand drain when you're walking into the tub it means that the drain is on the right just like the picture here so you can see the drain right there if it's a left hand drain the drain would be actually on the other side as far as materials go the tubs are going to range uh, I mean, you can get them in acrylic, which is like a plastic. Uh, a lot of those are where all the drywall gets ripped out and then uh, the tub gets nailed to the studs and then the wall sets get nailed to the studs too. Uh, you can also find the tubs in a painted uh, steel. Uh, you can also find them in cast iron. The cast iron tubs are going to run, uh, they're going to weigh quite a bit more. They're going to be heavier to move, but they're going to come with a, a good amount of thick uh, enamel on that cast iron to help prevent chipping and things like that. Some of the steel tubs are designed to look like cast iron, but without all the weight and all the cost. So when you, as you go through and look for an alcove tub, you're going to have a choice between acrylic, um, enamel on steel, cast iron, um, and maybe a few mixes of those, uh, uh, variations of those in between. And we'll go back to bathtubs here. Next tub you're going to run into is called the walk-in tub. These are becoming more popular. So generally what these do, these fit into a 51 or a 54 inch opening. And these typically get put in when uh, mom and dad, grandma and grandpa get older and um, they really can't walk over the tub anymore, or step over the side of the tub. 
what you want. They want to have a bath. So most of the time what happens is if these go into a 60 inch alcove, most of the time you'll have a little bit of shelf uh, back here, I guess, to set items on. Sometimes these can be installed by certain companies within a day. Uh, you really want to look out for these tubs because they vary wildly in pricing as far as anywhere from 3500 4500 you can even go up to eight nine ten grand in some of them you can get them as a soaker tub where they have no uh whirlpool jets or you can get them with a whirlpool heat massage uh to where you know somebody would want to stay in there all day kind of like a jacuzzi the other thing you want to get when you uh, get these types of tubs is most of them will come with what's called a quick drain That means it's going to drain the water out super quick in case there's an emergency You can um, the drain will the water will drain out real quick and then you can get the occupant out in a hurry uh, You can imagine opening this tub door and then having all of those gallons of water come out onto the floor That would be a no-no. So that's the walk-in tub. These are rare. I mean it, these are very rare to actually see uh, but they are becoming more popular as the baby boomer generation grows older. And then for the, uh, let's see, uh, bathtub types. Okay, so that's the alcove. We have the walk-in tub. This tub here is called a drop-in. And you can see, we'll go to the drop-in page. What happens here most of the time you're going to see these built on some type of wood platform or a tiled in platformer on the bottom here and on the sides. So what happens here is there's a hole that is left or tiled in and then this tub basically just drops right in. And then you'll typically have your Roman tub faucet here to fill the tub up in your drain. So that's the drop in. These are more popular than the walk in tubs. Uh, more and more stores though are starting not to carry these um, in inventory uh, a lot of that has to do with online uh, a lot of these items you can get online in a couple of days so why carry them in the store you know they're not that popular and um, you know if you can have them in a warehouse and get them in a couple days uh, stores are going to use that space to sell other things so you can get these in uh, five foot five and a half six foot lengths these are really nice soaker tubs. Uh, typically, you'll see them in higher end homes. So that's called a drop-in tub or what's also known as a deck-mounted tub. And the other tub that we're looking at here, uh, let's see. This is the freestanding tub. So what this is, these, I, you may remember these tubs here. These are the freestanding ones. These are also known as like clawfoot tubs. Uh, these are the tubs that were around in like the the teens, the 20s, the in the 30s. Uh, they typically had the the shower curtain ring going up here with a uh, shower curtain. You know, you'd see them on like the Three Stooges videos. So that's the clawfoot tub. These are rare, but these come in different heights, and there are companies that still make these clawfoot tubs because people like the nostalgia look of them now you will make them in acrylic some sometimes you'll see them in acrylic uh, if they make them in cast iron god those would be so heavy uh, those cast iron tubs but they wouldn't go anywhere these cost wise will be um, probably the most ex expensive tubs uh, out of all of them and a lot of that comes down to production costs the less they produce something, the more it costs to to make. So therefore, they just pass that cost on to the consumer. And you can also get these in varying heights. Some of the, these are more modern square looking tubs. And then here's your traditional tub here. So, um, you know, what you want to look out for too is if you're remodeling your bathroom, let's say for yourself, you want to look into the future and say, how old am I going to be? 10 or 15 years from now am I still going to be able to lift my leg up over this tub or do I do I want to go with something shorter so that's what you kind of want to look at when you go to you know when you look at uh, uh, bathtubs 
Uh, I got the walk-in tubs there. Let's go back to here, bathtubs. Uh, the materials we talked about too, uh, fiberglass. Fiberglass is going to be a brittle, but durable and repairable. Acrylic, uh, you can, acrylic is basically just plastic. You can take your fist and you can pound on acrylic and it's not gonna sit there and, and break or shatter like fiberglass will. Uh, but that is, uh, fiberglass is repairable, repairable. So is acrylic. Uh, acrylic is probably the more popular of the uh, the tubs right now. Cast iron is still around. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. One good thing with cast iron is it holds in the heat um, a lot better than the other materials. Steel tubs, good durability on those. Uh, they paint them to look like cast iron tubs, so you have the look of the cast iron tub without all of the price and the weight. So and what you want to do, no matter what tub you go with, uh, and this has to do with uh, the acrylic bathtubs, mostly. Um, you want to follow the manufacturer's instructions for that specific model. Some of the acrylic tubs you're going to want to, um, the, man, the manufacturers will require you to lay down a mortar bed or a plaster bed on the bottom because as people get in and out of the bathtubs, what's going to happen is the bottom of that tub is going to flex and you know fiberglass can crack acrylic is going to be more more durable and more flexible than um fiberglass in my own bath remodel about six and a half years ago i ripped out my old cast iron tub and i put in a cast iron shower base and once i put it in i was done i didn't have to put a, a mortar bed down or anything like that so uh, I think that's it for the bathtubs, uh, the different types of bathtubs. You can look at your bathtub now and see what type you, uh, what you have. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and ask, and I will do the best I can. Uh, you can email me at uh, askkinraz at gmail.com if you want to donate to PayPal. You don't have to, no big deal. And I'm probably going to be starting a Patreon here pretty soon. But anyway, I hope that uh, answers some of your questions and we'll see you in the next video.